Three errors. Syntax, runtime, semantic. I've written a new Python script called sqroot.py or squareroot.py. Let's look at what this script is supposed to do. In the first line, we're assigning a value input by the user to a variable called i. We obtain the value from the user with the function input. The user is prompted with the text inside input, enter a number to find its square root. And that value is input as a string type to the variable i. In the second line, The expression on the right hand side of the assignment operator is assigned to the variable rt or root. This expression is the variable i, which received its value in line 1, raised to a power of 1 half. This is equivalent to obtaining the square root of the number i. Finally, the third line is a print statement. The square root of is, and then these two curly braces, whose values are assigned using the function format. In the first curly braces will be expressed the variable stored at i, the value stored at i, and in the second curly braces will be expressed the value stored at root. Okay, let's run the script. we've run into the first kind of error, a syntax error. This error tells us that there is something in the syntax of the script, that is, something in the way the script is written, which is not valid. This, valid is this error is caught by the interpreter. The error Rather, the output of the error tells us that the error was caught in line 2. So let's take a look at the syntax of line 2. The syntax in line 2 actually looks good, but what can sometimes happen in a Python script? is that if there is a syntax error in the line above, it will not be caught until the interpreter begins to process the next line, that is, the line output in the error, line 2. So if we find nothing that looks suspicious in line 2, it may be useful to look at line 1. Some of you may have already seen that in line 1, we do not have a parenthesis at the end of the input function. Now we have balance parenthesis. Let's see if our script runs now. Okay, we receive the prompt, which is the expected behavior. I'll input the number 9. <clears throat> okay, we received another error. This time, it's not a syntax error. This time, it's a type error. A type error 
is a type of error which can be caught at runtime by the interpreter. That is, the error is caught while the script is running. In this case, the type error tells us that we are trying to perform an operation on a string okay, on a string which should be performed on an int. Let's see where we went wrong. Again, we're told to look in line 2. Again, there doesn't appear to be anything obviously wrong with line 2 in the sense of our current error. i, the value stored at i, should be able to be evaluated in a mathematical expression. Unless... Can you remember why we might be getting an error here? Remember that the type error told us we were trying to evaluate a string as an integer. And remember that the input function returns its value as a string. So right now, we have a string stored in the variable i. We can solve this problem by typecasting i to an int. That is, if we know that the string stored at i is numeric and only numeric, we're able to transform its type into an integer using the int function. OK, let's try our program now. Okay, we did not receive a syntax error or a runtime error, but something is still wrong. The square root of 9 is not 4.5. The square root of 9 is 3. So something is wrong with my program. This last type of error, a semantic error, is not caught by the interpreter. Instead, the programmer has to find it. Let's see if we can find this error. What's being printed here is the value 4.5, which means the value 4.5 is being stored at RT, which means the value 4.5 is likely being stored to RT in line 2. Is there anything about this expression that could give us 4.5? We need to realize that order of operations in Python is important. The power operator will be evaluated before the division operator, which means that i, 9, raised to the power of 1, which is equal to 9, is evaluated before anything is divided by 2. So 9 to the first power is 9, divided by 2 is 4.5. This is not what we want. We want 9 to be raised 
to the power of one half. How can we solve this problem? How can we make sure that nine is in fact raised to the power of one half? By using parentheses, we can be more explicit about the order of operations. Now, one half should be evaluated before raising nine to the power of whatever is on the other side of that operator. Let's try our script one more time. If all is well, we should see this program evaluate to 3 after the user inputs 9. Excellent. The square root of 9 is 3. Our program works. In summary, we looked at a syntactic error caught by the interpreter. We looked at a runtime error caught by the interpreter, and we looked at a semantic error, which we could only catch by noticing that we got undesirable output. And then we fixed all three of those errors.